Here's one thing new GPT agent can do. It won't magically show up on your website and start helping clients. No matter how powerful it is, it just sits there waiting for your next prompt. But this tool, it does the work for you. It answers questions, books calls, and handles client requests on autopilot. You know that feeling? Client needs something right now, but you get back to them two hours later because you're buried in email, Slack, and 10 other things. Multiply that by 10 clients a day, and suddenly your whole day is gone answering quick questions. Today, we are ending that step-by-step -step using the new Jotform AI agents. No code, no headaches. I'm gonna show you how to build an AI assistant that answers clients instantly, books calls, and by the end of this, your site will have a chatbot that handles the busy work so you can focus on the real work. Let's go. We'll create a Q&A bot for my AI Master membership to handle common questions about my courses and resources, but you can adapt this to your business easily. I'm starting from scratch, not using the templates, so you see the whole process. If you prefer templates, Jotform's got those too, but where's the fun in that? All right, I'm logged into my Jotform dashboard. To create a new AI agent, I click the bright orange create button up top. A menu pops up with all sorts of things I can create. Forms, apps, tables, but I'll select AI agent. Now we're on the describe the agent screen. This is where I tell Jotform what I want the agent to do in plain English. Think of it as the agent's job description. In the description field, I type something like, this agent will act as a support assistant for AI Master, answering FAQs about our courses, pricing and resources, and helping users book a consult if needed. I keep it concise but clear. There are also some handy predefined roles below, like agreement or job application, which autofill a description. But I prefer customizing my own. Once I'm happy with the description, I hit create, and boom, Jotform spins up my new AI agent using that info. In a second, it drops me into the AI agent builder interface. This is the command center where we'll train and tweak our agent. Step two, designing the look and persona. First impressions matter, even for a chatbot. So before we train its brain, Let's give it a decent face and style. In the AI agent builder, I see a preview of the chat window. By default, Jotform gives me a friendly looking bot avatar. That's nice, but I want the agent to feel on brand for my site. Let's customize. I click the little paint roller icon, the design settings in the top right. Up comes the designer panel with style options. Here's what I adjust. Agent name and role. Under agent title, I set the name to AI mentor because why not anthropomorphize a little? And role to AI master assistant. Now the chat header will say AI mentor, AI master assistant above the avatar. This helps users know who they're talking to, avatar. I swap in a custom avatar. You can upload a photo or even use your own image here, but I'm going with a sleek AI themed icon I have. In a fun twist, Jotform even lets you use an actual photo of yourself as the bot avatar if you want. Imagine your clone answering questions for you. I'm not that narcissistic yet. Colors and theme. I choose a color scheme that matches our brand, dark blues and neon green in my case. I set a custom gradient background for the chat page. Start color navy blue and color black. Looks pretty slick. I tweak the chat background to be a bit darker and pick a clean font. I stick with a circular. I also ensure the text color is high contrast, bright white text on dark background. It only takes a minute to apply these. The preview updates live as I change things. Now my agent looks like it belongs on my site, not like a generic widget. All right, style and done. We have a good looking chatbot shell. Next, we give it a brain. Now we need to feed our agent with information about our offerings policies, etc., so it can answer accurately. Jotform makes this easy with a train tab in the builder, which contains a knowledge base section. Think of the knowledge base as the vault of information the AI can draw from. We can add content in multiple ways, by linking web pages, uploading files, or writing Q and A's manually. We're going to do all three to cover our bases, so I click train, knowledge base, Let's feed the bot. I choose the link option and paste the URL of my course page. This page has detailed info on what's included in the membership, course curriculum, etc. When I add the link, Jotform automatically scans that page and even finds subpages. Lists out a few URLs it discovered. I select the ones that are relevant, then I click save. The agent will now crawl those pages and learn that content. Perfect. Next, I click add new knowledge 
and select the file option. I upload a file called AI Course Structure plus Course Materials and AI Master Membership Knowledge Base. This is a 10-page PDF I give to new members full of common questions and answers, support contacts, and all that good stuff. The AI will ingest this file's text. JotForm even lets me specify how to use it. E.g., I could tell it to only present certain data from the file when asked. In this case, I just want the whole content available as reference. Uploading, done. Finally, for ultra-specific questions, I use questions and answers input. This lets me add exact questions and the exact answers I want the agent to give. I click add new knowledge again and go to Q&A. For example, question, do I get a certificate after completing the course? Answer, yes, we provide a digital certificate upon course completion. I add a few of our top FAQ questions like this to be absolutely sure the bot gives the precise answer I would give. Another one, question, can I cancel my subscription anytime? Answer, yes, you can cancel your subscription anytime directly through your account settings, no hidden fees or commitments. This way, even if the info is somewhere in the files or site content, I've explicitly taught the AI the ideal answer wording. It's like giving it canned responses for key FAQs. I go through and add maybe five to six Q&A pairs for the most crucial things, pricing, access duration, support contact info, etc. When I'm done, the knowledge base overview in JotForm shows all the items I added. My website pages, the docx files, and the list of custom q and I can always come back here to edit or add more knowledge if something new comes up. Super useful for keeping the bot up to date. Our agent now has all the knowledge it needs to handle common client questions. We basically just onboarded a new virtual team member by dumping all our docs on them. But unlike a human, this one actually read everything instantly. Before we test it out, there are a few more clever tricks we can set up. Actions and integrations to make the agent even more helpful. Answering questions is great, but we can go further. JotForm AI agents can be configured with triggers and actions. Essentially, if this then that rules for the chatbot. This means our agent can detect certain situations or keywords and respond with special actions beyond just text replies. I click on the actions tab, still under the train section, the builder. Time to create a couple of smart rules. One thing I worry about, if a user is getting frustrated, I want to know and help out personally. Thankfully, our AI agent can detect sentiment in messages. So I set up a trigger if the user is upset. In the triggers list, there's an option for user sentiment. JotForm calls it user asks about sentiment trigger. I configure user sentiment equals negative. In plain language, this means if the user says something in an angry or disappointed tone, like this isn't helpful or I'm frustrated, the agent will recognize the negative sentiment. For the action, I choose send email. I set it to send an alert to my support email. JotForm has a built-in email template for these notifications and I customize it a bit. Subject, AI agent alert, frustrated user needs help, body of the email will include the conversation transcript or at least the user's last message. This way, I'll know exactly what they were asking and why they're upset. I also add another action tied to the same trigger, say exact message. This instructs the agent to respond with a specific reply when the trigger fires. In this case, when sentiment is negative, I want the bot to say, I'm sorry you're having trouble finding what you need. If you'd like, I can take a note of your concerns and forward it to the relevant team so they can contact you directly. So in summary, if the user is unhappy, the bot apologizes and quietly sends me an email. Now I won't miss those critical moments when a customer needs a human touch. Now let's handle another scenario. What if a potential client thinks that bot can answer his exclusive question and wants to talk with the admin after chatting. We can automate that too. For our demo, I'll do a straightforward approach. Trigger, user wants to talk with a real person. JotForm actually has a trigger called user wants to something for when a user expresses an intention like booking or requesting help. I select user wants to talk with a real person. The interface has some common intents. Action, say exact message. Please feel free to ask me your questions and I will look for answers in the knowledge base. If I am unable to answer them, I will help you get in touch with the admin. 
and second action, send me an email. I won't set up more right now, but just know you have a buffet of actions available. You can have the agent fill out a form in the background, call external APIs, search your website for info, present a video or a list of items, you name it. We've covered two big ones I need, human escalation and booking, which already feel like superpowers compared to FAQ page. Moment of truth. Let's test this agent out and see how it behaves. This is always my favorite part, pretending to be the user and throwing questions at the bot. So let's hit preview and have a chat with our creation. What courses do you offer in the AI Master membership? Nice, it pulled that from my downloaded files. The tone is official and it mentions the key components exactly as I'd expect. Good start. How much does it cost? And do you have a payment plan? Nice, it nailed the pricing answer, combined info from the pricing page I linked and our FAQ PDF where I had the installment plan info. The answer is concise and accurate, so good job, bot. Can I cancel my subscription anytime? That's exactly the phrasing I put in a custom Q&A answer. Great to see it coming through verbatim. Means the agent is prioritizing the answer I manually set for that question. Perfect. Now let's intentionally test a tricky one. This is useless. I can't find what I need. And behind the scenes, I see a notification pop up email from JotForm. It's the alert email triggered by the negative sentiment. Success. The bot recognized the anger, delivered our apology message, and pinged me with the transcript. I won't lose an unhappy user into the void. I will know and can jump in quickly. One more test. Cool, but I want to talk to the operator. I have a few questions. Bot keep talking with user providing our information. That's exactly what we configured. Everything is working great, but it wasn't totally perfect from the start. I'll be honest, I did a couple of these test rounds and had to tweak some things. For example, initially I asked uh, what's included in the membership and the bot's answer was missing one or two items. I realized I hadn't given it the latest info on a new feature we added. Easy fix. I went back into the knowledge base and added a quick Q&A pair for what's included, listing all features. After that, the agent gave a much more complete answer. These little iterations are normal. Think of it like training a new employee. The first day they might forget a detail, so you remind them. The agent learns fast though. Updating its knowledge took me a minute and the next chat it had it right. Overall, testing and refining took maybe 10 to 15 minutes and now I'm really confident in the agent's responses. Time to unleash our AI agent into the wild, put it on my website so clients can use it. JotForm gives multiple publish options so you can choose what works best for you. Direct link. Every agent can be accessed via JotForm URL. Great if you just want to share it as a standalone page or test it on mobile. Embed on website, you can embed the chat on your site in different styles, inline on a page as a floating chatbot widget, a pop-up or a light box overlay. Integrations, they even have options for platforms like WordPress and Shopify for easy embedding. For me, a chatbot widget on the bottom right of my site works best. That way it's available on every page, but non-intrusive. So here's what I do. In the AI agent builder, I go to the publish tab and then click embed on the left side. I see a list of embed styles, page embed, chatbot, WordPress, lightbox, pop-up. I select chatbot floating. JotForm shows me a snippet of embed code, an iframe script. I hit copy code. I paste that code into my website's HTML, specifically just before the body tag of my site, so the chat widget loads on all pages. If you use a website builder or CMS, there's usually an option to insert custom code or a widget. Super easy, just drop it in. Save and publish my website changes. And voila, the AI chat icon appears on my site. Perfect, works while I'm focusing on creating content or, you know, actually taking a weekend off. This is the kind of automation that can save hours a week and tons of mental energy. To wrap up, here are a few tips if you're going to set up your own JotForm AI agent for client Q&A. Give it good data. The more relevant info you feed into the knowledge base, think FAQs, documentation, product pages, 
the better and more accurate its answers. Garbage in, garbage out. So train it well. Test it. Pretend to be a confused customer and chat with your bot. You'll quickly see if it's missing anything. Then just go back and add or tweak that knowledge and test again. Few rounds of this and your agent will be rock solid. Customize the tone to match your style. Jot form lets you set the persona and even how formal or chatty the agent is. I made mine friendly and a bit playful, similarly to how I talk. You can do the same so it feels like you. Use actions wisely. The triggers and integrations are possible. Powerful. Even if you start with just an email alert for tough questions, that alone covers a huge gap. It's like having an escalation path in customer service. You saw how our frustration email worked super handy. Consider what key actions would help in your workflow and set those up. If you found this useful, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you use an AI agent for. I'm curious. And if you want to dive deeper into automating your business with AI, remember to check out the AI Master Membership I mentioned. We have a whole crash course on AI automation, detailed PDF guides, and a toolbox of AI resources to fast track your journey. Until next time, stay creative, stay automated, and I'll see you in the next video.